how to configure your VRF light on Cisco IOS. VRF stands for virtual routing and forwarding. Or sometimes we see that it's called VPN routing and forwarding. It's a technology that allows us to create multiple routing tables or instances within our router. VRF light means VRFs without any MPLS config. And VRF do not always mean MPLS, and MPLS do not always mean VRFs. Um, I got this from Cisco.com, configuring VRF light. Uh, it's just, you know, the configuration is just simple. Uh, IP VRF and then VRF name. And then you add the interface to the VRF itself. And this is how you add it, this config or this command. So I have a topology here that I actually have tested earlier. So let me go to ISP. Let me just clear that. Yeah, so this is the configuration. Uh, <coughs> ConFT and then uh, let me just copy and paste. And then this is how you add the interfaces. And if you, if I do show, oops, and yeah, the IP addresses are already configured. So if I do this command here, this will. Oh, okay, because it is already configured. Let me actually remove it and add it again. Uh, yeah, so let me remove it. <coughs> and add it again. So interface IPv4 disabled and addresses removed due to enabling VRF. So it actually means that, uh, you know, I, I removed the VRF, right? I did not add it. That uh, message is confusing. Let me actually enable it and then add the IP address. Or let me do it the other way around. Yeah, let me do it the other way around. So So let me add the IP address first and then enable VRF. So I got I get the, the the same error message again. <clears throat> so this is so it it's better to I mean you should always have a copy of the IP addresses before you actually enable VRF. And next is and this is of course the interface facing blue or router blue, right? And let me configure <coughs> the interface facing red, router red. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this. Done. Yeah, that's how you can configure VRF on a uh, router. And if I do show VRF run, now show run VRF, 
I will it will give me the DRF configurations. Right. So yeah, the IP VRF blue and the interface in VRF blue. IP VRF red and the interface in VRF red. Let me actually do it again. Yeah. So this is a good command. <coughs> And if I check the routing table, nothing there. So let me actually specify which BRF. So I, so now I need to very specify which BRF should I I will look at. So I can look at uh, BRF blue, which does not have interfaces. Or routes. Okay, so it uh, looks like BRF blue is not configured properly, but we are uh, BRF red is looking good. Let me check. Let me check BRF blue. What happened to BRF blue? Oh, okay. It doesn't have this interface. Doesn't have an IP address. So let me actually. Copy and paste this, yeah, and then do that command again, brf blue, there we go, yeah, looking good. So that's the basic uh, configuration, uh, brf configuration. So you just, can, you know, uh, brf, I mean enable brf, or configure brf itself and then add the interface to it. And this is how you configure static routes in VRFs. So on blue, uh, on router blue, it's it's got a loop back this year. Uh, loop back is actually sorry that. And on red, loop back is this. Yeah, so I will just copy and paste these commands on ISP. Oops. Yeah, that's that's how you uh, configure that. That's how you can configure static routes. And to verify it, I will. This is a this is another command, a good command. So here, show IP VRF. But I will check the routing table of VRF blue. Yeah, so I see that static route that we just configured, and I can also check VRF red. VRF red, I don't see the static route. Oh, okay, that's uh, incorrect IP address. Let me do it again. Because this is uh, router red here. So that's the subnet. So let me do the add commands again. And Should look good now. Yeah, <clears throat> so I can actually ping the loopback on router blue. So I have to I have to specify which BRF uh, which BRF that uh, that IP address belongs to. Because if I just do a simple or oh, normal ping. It will not work because this IP address is not in my routing in my in the global routing table. All right, yeah, that's how you can configure static routes in BRF. So let me let me go ahead and remove these static routes. 
so I can show you how you can uh, configure routing protocols in VRFs as well. So in this case, I'm going to uh, configure OSPF and on uh, router blue and routers blue and red, you just have to configure the normal OSPF. So you you don't have to specify which which VRF to use, right? Because looks like my battery is running out. Let me just check. Okay. Because <clears throat> on routers blue and red, uh, they are just using the default VRF or the global routing table. So let me just copy and paste these commands and yeah, go to red, router red, done. And this is how you, so if you notice, uh, I'm using uh, two OSPR processes, OSPR process one and OSPR process two. So one is for blue and two is for red. That's how you specify, uh, and this is how you also specify the VRF. Copy and paste. So now I can also verify, or use this command to ver verify the VRFs. like I have to wait. Let me see if I can actually OSPF VRF. No. How about ah oh, there we go. Yeah this is how you can specify OSP no 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 Looking for, because this is looking for the, this is the normal, normal command, right? But how you, question is, how do you specify the VRF? So let me see, nothing here. Now, VRF blue, uh, interfaces, no. <clears throat> so it looks like OSPF just uh, came up. I need to check on this uh, OSPF interface uh, brief. Okay. So doesn't sh show us the VRF itself. Show IP VRF blue and then or OSPF VRF. OSPF one VRF. Interface VRF. Yeah, I need to check on this uh, offline maybe, but I don't see the the uh, I don't see 
a option where you can specify the VRF itself. But uh, you know, uh, OSPF came up, so I can actually verify the routing table. So we see that uh, we have route the loopback route in VRF blue. And if I check red, I also see the VRF, I mean the loopback uh, IP address in VRF red. And I, I can also ping the loopback zero on router blue and the same for router red. And again, nothing, nothing on the global routing table. And I've got some commands here that uh, these are all VRF aware commands. So we have used this one and this one. And oh, this one. We can actually check this one. Uh, VR. Okay. Yeah, this is this is a you know routing routing related VRF command that we can use. Yeah. And let me also try to ping. So let me ping the loopback zero on router blue here. I mean, ping trace route. <clears throat> Looks like that's not working. Need to let me cancel that. Trace route VRF red and then oh IP uh, IP Trace route VRF VR red IP trace word trace route to destination address of host name. <coughs> okay, so this should have this should work, right? How come it's not working? source trace out could be not supported on this iOS that I'm using but I think this is the this is the command based on this uh, based on this uh, reference that I got let me check Ping is working, right? Oh, there we go. <clears throat> so that works. <laughs> but uh, how about? So it looks like ping blue is not working. Oh, I see. I know what's wrong. Uh, I I had to specify blue. Okay, there we go. Now it works. Okay, let me just save the configs on all the routers. Okay, yeah, that's how you can configure VRF Lite on Cisco iOS.